we heard there was a new brand of wine to try, we had to give it a go. So Tom and I are going to be tasting this sparkling wine in a can. There's a white and a rosé. Tom, which shall we start with? I think we should start with the white. Yeah, let's yeah. go for it. Okay, let's pour it into a glass so we can have a look. So um, obviously it comes in these little cans, which they very kindly sent over to us. I'm worried you it's going to... do a crack as well. Yeah, I'm worried it's going to spray everywhere. No, we're okay. That's the first test passed. Not the usual pop it. of a no, champagne not, glass, oh, but yeah, yeah. Not a Prosecco satisfying bottle. Satisfying nonetheless. Doing, oh, well, it's, it's not hugely fizzy, is it? No, I you think know, it's, it's quite a light sparkle. Yeah, which it's I, not like when you pour out a bottle of Prosecco and it yeah. fizzes everywhere. Well, we better do a cheers. Cheers. Okay, well, you go first, you try I'll give first. it a try first, how about that? I'll give it, it a smell. Mm, okay. What do you think so far? Oh, yeah. I think it's very zesty, actually, and um, yeah, there's something about. I guess it's it's nice to have it quite carbonated because it kind of feels yeah. a bit more refreshing in yeah. that way. Yeah, I think it's a very nice combination of being quite bright, citrusy, mm -hmm. and just yeah, refreshing. I could imagine having this like on in the sun, you know, in yeah. the park somewhere or at like a garden party. Quite a good festival yeah. drink. Yeah. I've got some facts. It's dry in style and fruity and fresh. I would, I would go with that. Let's try having some out of the can and see what it's like because you're not always going to have a glass. Tr yes. I suppose that's, that's the purpose of it, isn't it? Yeah. That having it in the can makes it so much easier than carrying a bottle around. When yeah, you're exactly. Going to a festival, going to the park. So, yeah. How does it taste out of the can? Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's... it's, it's it's not very fizzy, it's not, but I think that I, I actually like that because it, it means you can drink it a bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> this is one to finish quite a few bottles, quite a few cans. Not that I'm suggesting that you drink them in quick succession, but you could. Well, festival season is going to be good to mm. you this year. Mm. What are we giving it out of ten? I reckon I'd give that a solid... I'd give it that a seven, you know. Seven. I would drink that. Interesting. Yeah, you know what? I would give it an eight, I think. Just because I, I, I do like... I'm not one for drinking lots of fizzy things. OK. Fizzy um, when it comes to sparkling wine as yeah. well. I like it, like, not too fizzy, you know, so you can drink, like you said, quite a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'd give that a solid eight. I mean, I've drunk nearly half a can in, in quite quick succession, so um, I think we ought to move on to the rosé before okay, so that sounds we get too carried away. I really like the cans as well. Yeah, I think there's... Yeah, quite graceful. I do like them. I think they would look nice on the summer nice barbecue pop. table. Again, not super fizzy. What about the, the colour of the way it looks? Quite nice blush colour, which I do like in my in my wine. Don't like a really bright pink rose. You don't like a bright pink rose. Mm -mm. I'm gonna no. try a bit. Let's see. Mmm. Try it, have a go. How does it compare? No, it's nice. It's actually not a huge flavour difference? No, do I don't, think? yeah, I agree, actually. I think there's, um, I don't know, the other one felt, uh, had a lot more zing to it, and mm. this one, like, the aftertaste feels a little bit more um, reduced, a bit more mute, but it's still got a, a nice flavour within yeah, it. Yeah, still has kind of floral notes to it. Mm. Um, I'll see if we've got any more facts about this one. Um, it's just the, the pale blush colour is typical of northern Italy, apparently, Is that so? where it's from. So um, it's made using the Charmat method, Tom, which I have to say I did have to Google. Oh, yeah. Um, which traps the bubbles in the wine using large steel tanks. It's the same way Prosecco is made. But it's not as fizzy as Prosecco, is it? No, it definitely has more of a, like, a lighter fizz to it, which I, I feel like is quite refreshing, almost. Yeah. So which, what, what would you give this one? What's the, what's the out of ten rating? I think in comparison, rating? I like the stronger like aftertaste of the white wine more so. So mm. I think I'd have to give this one maybe a, a six. Yeah. A six out of ten, in my opinion. I'm going similar. Yeah, six, seven out of ten. But overall, I like these. Satisfying. Yeah, I think, I think they would make you know, a nice accompaniment if you had like, if you're going with the Italian theme, have like an antipasti. I like the sound of that. We need a little bit more sunshine before we're heading out to the park. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tom. Perfect. Thank you very much.